Jeff Keen here in the Rivian R1T Quad Adventure. Now I just got software update 2025.46. Let's check it out. This update brings a few refinements to Gen 1, while most of the features are aimed at the Gen 2 hardware. There's also been a lot of confusion around digital keys and Apple Watch support, so I'll try to clear that up. So this update includes driver display changes, digital key updates for Gen 2 hardware only, new autonomy features for Gen 2, and some performance features for Gen 2 quad motor variants. And if this video was helpful, please remember to like and subscribe and click the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. So with this update, there's a new customizable driver display for all vehicles. If you push in the right thumb wheel, it'll let you switch between driver assistance and maps and navigation. So now you can get a full screen map on the driver's display. Now, if you enable driver assist on the highway, it'll switch back to that display mode. And also, if you get close to anything, the ultrasonic sensors pick up, it's gonna also switch back to that mode. And there's a whole new display for highway assist that clearly shows your set speed and your follow distance. Now for Gen 1, there's been a few small fixes in this update. One, uh, the app wasn't displaying the current drive mode always. I noticed that and I've seen other people notice that too. So this fixes that. So gives you a chance to select an alternate route when you're starting navigation. And there's improved passive key with iPhone 17. I haven't noticed a lot of difference. I really haven't had a problem. As soon as I walk up to the vehicle, it unlocks. Now Gen 2 gets some major changes in this update. Universal hands-free driving on over three and a half million miles of roads now. Universal hands-free gives you lane keeping and adaptive cruise control on many roads that weren't covered before and you don't have to touch the wheel. Now this is not yet point to point fully autonomous driving. It doesn't stop for stop signs or red lights. It'll break for cars in front of you and follow the road, as well as change lanes. I'd say it's similar to Tesla's enhanced autopilot, but nothing near FSD 14. That's still to come with Rivian. There's three new driving styles, mild, medium, and spicy. These affect following distance, lane behavior, and overall driving personality. The other big thing for Gen 2 vehicles is the adoption of digital key an Apple phone key. So you can keep the Rivian key in your Apple wallet and passively unlock the vehicle and start it to drive. An Apple phone key will even work with a phone that's on power reserve mode for up to five hours. This also adds a phone key to your Apple watch. Now I'm not really sure why Rivian went with Apple car key. Tesla has a great phone and watch key app and it's just using Bluetooth, NFC, and ultra wideband. And it's easy to share keys. Rivian had to add in extra Apple certified hardware into Gen 2 to support Apple Car Key when they could have just improved the app and key support and added an official Apple Watch app for backup. It's nice to have, but it just seems to add too much extra complexity for me. Now, Rivian has said eventually they're going to add an Apple Watch as key for Gen 1 vehicles. But if you want to use that functionality now, I have a workaround. There's a third-party Watch as Key app that I'll link below. It allows passive lock and unlock from the Apple Watch without your phone and vehicle start and drive. It actually adds it right into the drivers and key section as a phone key. And I have it on my Apple Watch Ultra. It's been working great. I'll link to those below if you want to get one. Now, Gen 2 quad motor vehicles get some pretty cool performance enhancement. First is Rad Tuner, which lets you adjust all the drive parameters. And then there's Kick Turn, which will help you to maneuver in tight spots. These features are hardware dependent. They're not coming to Gen 1, even though I saw the Gen 1 do a tank turn. So this update had some pretty good improvements. I love the new driver display customization. Now you can have a full screen map and then keep your efficiency in the left corner. And Gen 2 owners are getting hands-free driving finally and Apple Car Key. Those are some solid improvements. Let me know in the comments what generation you're driving. Which of these features do you think Rivian should bring to Gen 1? Remember to like and subscribe for more videos about Rivian, Tesla, Wi-Fi, and tech products.